Good morning. Welcome to Enlightened Heart Soul Connection. I'm Naoma. I'll be a reader today. Today's message is for my Starseed Collective. Okay. Um, <clears throat> actually, like, there's part of me that honestly believes that we're all star seeds. Every single one of us is made from stardust. And all the elements on Earth came from stardust. But this is for the ones who connect with the Star Seed Collective. Lyrans, Andromedans, Pleiadians. So, Spirit. What do our star seeds need to know today? Thank you. Man, these last couple messages have started with some pretty heavy energy. We got the Five of Pentacles out here. Being felt left out, or feeling left out, put out. Desperate. And because you've been in lack for so long, like, well, you've been in lack, but you've been in lack, but you've always been like this giving, loving person of yourself. And maybe you're in this Five of Pentacles energy because you have not learned yet how to um, receive, if that makes sense. Like, you can, you can give somebody the shirt off your back every single day, but be unwilling to accept any gifts from anyone else because you can see their lack and you don't want to take from them, if that makes sense. That's who I'm talking to. So even though you're sitting in this Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles energy, like you feel lack and you feel loss. You have so much love to give, but it's not being reciprocated. Those are your feelings. All right. Ah, but you are getting ready to move forward. You've got some decisions that need to be made. Choices. What else, Spirit? You. At a crossroads, and feeling nostalgic, looking back onto your childhood. you're looking back on your childhood because um, you're looking for some stability, looking for some strength to get out of a situation that you feel tied up in. Spirit wants you to um, really get into this hermit energy. I'm actually... Because now they're throwing out some advice. Yeah, so you're you're looking at your past for stability and answers. 
to this two of wands but because you're all in yourself feeling like this feeling like this spirit saying you need to um, get into this hermit energy kind of get alone go into your cave and really start to dive into your shadow gain wisdom and introspection yeah Gain wisdom, and, and this is you. This is you, Star Siege. You're this King of Wands just waiting to come out of the cave. Seven of Pentacles are saying just be patient. Be patient. It's all gonna come. You've got to let go of your shadow, man. There's something here about learning to let go of your shadow and integrate your sh integrate your shadow. <clears throat> integrate your shadow because here's why. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, all wishes fulfilled. Use your shadow to change your fortune. The Seven of Swords talks about deceit, but it also, and, and deception, but it's also about, um, It's also about strategizing and using your mental, look at this guy, man, like he, look, he looks so fucking smug, he's stolen five swords and left two. He's stolen those swords and he left two behind. So... And he's smug about it. Okay? <sighs> smug fucker. Yeah, that's the integration of your shadow. The integration of your shadow and using it to your benefit is what Spirit is telling me right now. Is going to be your Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Your wishes fulfilled nine of pentacles man like that and the nine of cups that's um emotional and material fulfillment is going to come in the is going to come to you once you learn that integration so it's going to be really important for you to get into your cave so to speak to get some insight and clarity into what your shadow is and how can you use your shadow to your benefit There may be some bonds that need to be broken here with the devil. There may be some 
contracts, some karmic ties, etc. that need to be cut, wrapped up. You know, but the devil is about the devil is about the contracts and chains that we get ourselves into. But you have to understand that you can get out of it at any time. In the Rider Waite Smith deck, the devil card, the lovers are standing in front of Baphomet and they're very loosely bound. Those chains slip right off their feet. They just have to understand that they can get out of it themselves. And really, honestly, Baphomet, the devil, represents the dark within ourselves right and this whole game is about learning to integrate the shadow um being a spiritual person is not all love light and rainbows and sunshine and putting that shit up people's asses it's not like that at all it's <laughs> i mean there's a lot of crying and a lot of anger and a lot of um a lot of that dark stuff that comes out during a spiritual awakening it's learning how to use that it's learning how to use that to your benefit that is so integral to this whole journey it's not being it's not like don't get stuck in that energy but learn to use it All right, so do we have any final words that we need to tell the Star Seed Collective, please? Uh, you didn't, thank you. Are you guys really nice today? And comes the card. <laughs> Much better than yesterday. I'm feeling this card right here. Knight of Cups and the Hermit. Oh, the Hermit, just to confirm the Hermit with the Knight of Cups. You know, upon exiting the cave, you're going to be coming out. You're going to be coming out of this integration process so much wiser. You're already an old soul. You're just going to be coming out so much wiser and able to um, able to pour into other people's cups so to speak without emptying your own High Priestess, hell yeah. All right, Ten of Wands and the High Priestess. So, okay, so you... So you know that there are a lot of bridges that need to be burned in the process of this awakening. There are people out there who took advantage of your kindness and you come out of your cave like... Okay, so that's what I'm going to put at the beginning of this video. Don't mistake my kindness for weakness is what spirit is telling me right now with the high priestess and the ten of wands don't mistake my kindness for weakness the high priestess can see she's a seer she has the wisdom of the hermit 
She speaks to source. Interesting. She comes out with the wand cards. She speaks to source. She has direct connection. She has a balance of the pillar of severity and the pillar of mercy. She knows how to use them. She's balanced that give and take. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the fool. And the world. Yep, so we're going to stop there. Star seeds. Star seeds. Don't mistake my kindness for weakness. This is your new beginning. This is the end of this bullshit and the beginning of a whole new path for you. Coming out of your cave. Coming out of your starship. Maybe you have to do some deep meditations and recognize where it is that you originally come from. <clears throat> but more or less, you know, Naomi's shadow side is very introverted and I don't like dealing with people. I have a really bad temper. I'm a freaking Leo. My temper, it's really bad. And then on top of that, I come from a genealogy of Native American and Irish descent. So I have a horrible temper. And I'm judgy. And um, I can be downright disrespectful. But over the course of the years... You know, my wisdom, my wisdom has been gained through learning how to tame that side of me. And I never, never knew what that was called. I didn't get full integration until I hit that dark night last August. Um, you know, but there's something special in the integration of the light and the dark. The darkness works for you, with you, not against you. You have to learn. You have to learn how to balance the light and the dark within yourself. Yeah. You really have to learn how to do that. But yeah, this is the end of this cycle. This is the beginning of a new one. I kind of sense that some of the people that are watching this are already in the beginning stages of their new chapter. And it's going to feel and look different for everybody. So let me know in the comments. Like, you know, sometimes these new chapters, they start rough, but man is it so worth it to wade through the shit of the beginning because when you get to the end my god and have faith in the unseen this is the thread that connects all of us so <laughs> I'm going to leave this one here. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. I love you guys. Enjoy your day, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.